Join us now at a crucial moment as IMI employee Hannah David tries her very best to become a pensioner. Hannah, just like a Bugatti Veyron whose owner forgot to top up the tank, let's see if you're about to go downhill fast. Why should you save into a pension? Is it A, to be comfortable when you retire? B, security for your loved ones? C, because IMI pays in two? Or D, all of the above? Your time starts now. Um, well, they all sound pretty convincing, so I'm gonna say D, all of the above, final answer. Well, Hannah, proof that brains come before beauty, you're right. On to our next question. In pensions, what does DC stand for? Is it A, diligent contribution? B, defined credit? C, defined contribution? Or D, dollar collecting? Again, you've got 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay, so I remember this from the Pensions Roadshow. So the correct answer is C, defined contribution, final answer. I can tell you that's the right answer. Well done. If you carry on at this rate, we're going to be here all day. <laughs> and now if you're interested, it says here, uh, defined contribution uh, means that you and IMI pay into your individual account and how much is in there when you retire depends on how much is paid in and how your investments perform. And on to the next question. Now this is a tricky one, Hannah. In pensions, what is salary sacrifice? I'm told by the boffins in my earpiece that you might know this as smart pay within your scheme. So your options are A, where you put all of your salary into your pension, B, where your salary is reduced by the amount you would like to contribute, C, a process of sacrificing someone for money, or D, reducing your salary for tax purposes. Let's put another 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. I know it's got to do with sacrificing. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna go C for this one. Final answer. You sure? Yeah, final answer, please. A hundred percent positive. Yeah, yeah, it's it's sacrificing, so get a final answer. Well, I'd love to sugarcoat this for you, Hannah, but I can't. You've got it wrong. <laughs> After that answer, I'm sure there are a few people in the audience who want, want to sacrifice you. <laughs> you should, of course, have gone for B, where your salary is reduced by the amount you would like to contribute. That means you pay less in national insurance contributions and your take-home pay goes up. Everyone's a winner. Well, Hannah, I'm afraid that you've lost I know, I'd love to say I'm shocked, but I'm not, so I won't. And after that display, quite frankly, I reckon even you could do better. Go on, prove me wrong. It's time to welcome our next contestant. 